Hi, Jess here from nigess.co.uk and I'm here to share um, what I got from on stage. So it was on stage two weeks ago. Um, that was on the Saturday and then on the Sunday we had a Pootler's Day and straight after the Pootler's Day, matter of fact I left a little bit early, I went off on holiday and I got back last night and um, so now I'm finally getting to open up my swaps. I haven't done it before. So I thought I'd film it whilst I did it and get it out there. Um, so this is the lovely grid paper, square for a change. Normally it's the same size as our normal grid paper. So everybody had one of these in front of them on the table. It's got a bit crumpled because this has been sitting in a bag for a week um, in the back of my car uh, whilst I was away on holiday. So um, yeah, I might have to iron that because I'm a bit sad and I keep these things. So anyway, I'll move that out of the way because it just looks a bit scruffy, doesn't it? So I've cleared my decks so that we can um, have, a, have a good old look. So of course, it's the catalogue. Now, <clears throat> I've been away for a week, so you've probably seen quite a lot of the front of the catalogue everywhere, but this is my first chance to show you. When I first looked at it, as a teacher, I thought, it looks a little bit like a textbook. Um, but actually I quite like it. Um, now I think it's quite neat and streamlined and you can see lots of lovely products. Um, much more muted colours than we've had of, of, of late um, on the front cover. It's been like quite rainbowy um, and this one's a little bit um, more sort of, you know, sort of neutrals and sort of blues and greens and I quite like it. Um, so there is a little um, hint there to some, some new things. That, that are coming up and, and I hope you're excited. I'm quite excited. And if we look on the back um, there, there's just some, some things about um, stamping up and um, it will be put in my sticker there. So if anybody wants to buy, they know how to contact me. So uh, we'll be um, getting all my um, labels together for sending these out. So if you haven't got a demonstrator and uh, you'd like me to be your demonstrator, then just uh, nip over to my blog, nigesa.co.uk, and you can, in the sidebar of my blog, um, request a catalogue, and I will be delighted to send them out to you. Okay, so put that to one side. So when you get to on stage, one side, I did actually have, have a receptacle ready. There we go. So when you get to on stage and you register, the first thing you get is a bag. And demonstrators are always really excited. I've just pulled over the rubbish onto my desk when I did that. Thank you, Jess. Um, <coughs> we're always excited for our bag. So every on stage we get a bag. I love this bag. I think this is possibly my favourite bag. Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, stamping up logo, of course. Lovely, lovely bit of stitching here. And what a gorgeous colour. <coughs> I have got a little bit of a throat here and I'm looking around and I can't see any water. I may pause. Um, so it's lovely. So we've got a nice big handle. It does go over your shoulders. Um, plain on the back. And we have a little popper here. And a zip. So extra security there. And when we open the zip, inside, huge bag. And a zip pocket there. So that will make my phone and purse safe. And then two pockets there for other things. And lots and lots of room there for shopping or the general rubbish I carry around with me every day when I go out. And I always carry a few catalogues, so that's that's just brilliant. Love it. Okay, put that to one side. We always get a sort of a planner as well. And um, this year, um, it's like almost A4. Well, it might actually be A4, I'm not sure. Um, so, um, like that, these are the in colours, the new in colours, delighted to see because our current in colours um, that came out this time last year are really, really bright. Uh, the ones going out have uh, more sort of muted colours and uh, so yes, I wanted muted colours to complement. That's the other side, again, beautiful design there, a little bit of a hint there, something coming up. And so what we've got is quite sure which one is the right way I don't think it actually matters um, so what we've got is we've got um, pages with lines on pages with dots on which is perfect for somebody like me who designs their own products so projects so I will be designing on this sheet and then writing here all the measurements and, and everything so this will be fabulous for me to sort of look back on um, 
if I want to sort of resize anything or make it for a craft fair. Saves me hunting on my blog if I've got it all written down. I, ha I do have uh, a previous Stamping Up Planner that I did this for, but I just love the size of this one and, and think it's fabulous. So that is one I would definitely be using a lot of. Okay, along with that in our bag, we had these folders, which I was quite excited about. I'm just going to stick that down there so I don't pull off any of the lovely paper. So I did um, sort them out. So we got two of each. We had those two together, but I just sorted it out like this. So it is simply a folder to just a, a folded over folder. So these I thought would be lovely. Um, as I get new team members, I can send them one of these folders with lots and lots of information in there about what they need to do to get the best out of um, their journey in stamping up. So I thought they were lovely, really like them and um, I uh, will get a lot of use out of them and I love the fact that they're logoed, love anything the stamping up logo and um, I love the colours and um, my hands are really, really swollen and really, really sore after my holiday. So I am struggling a little bit here. Um, on our desk, when we sat down, we had this clipboard, which is great for when I'm doing craft fairs, I can put um, sort of signing up details on there. I'm not quite sure what that bit's for. Oh, that's for hanging up. Oh, marvellous. Um, yeah, so I've got a little A4 calendar as well. I can stick that on there in my craft room. And um, another little preview there of little things. And uh, that was, um, we were supposed to do a mingle bingo. Um, but I didn't do a mingle bingo because there was about 90 people from Pootlers there. And um, those those were the people that I already know lots about and wanted to mingle with mainly. So I did go off and speak to other people. But that useful, very useful clipboard. Um, so like that. And we always get pens. So these were our pens, again, in our, our new colours. I um, haven't opened them. Um, I, do, um, I do keep my pens, and then um, if I can bear to part with them, I send them out to new team members. But, you know, uh, to be fair, I've never done that. Um, I, <laughs> I've, got some, I've got my very first on stage, the pens are still intact. The second on stage, I've used one of, um, and then the others, they're just in the packet. I can't, I can't bring myself. So that is what was in the bag as well as that in the bag we have our our name thing got vegetarian written on it which is really good because I often lose the card that says I'm a vegetarian so that's nice and we had our own Pootler ribbon um, this year which was lovely from Sam. You get, um, I've got my Pootler badge, um, I've got Pinky's badge but I, I, I forgot to take it and um, and then we all have a number and that is prize patrol so at some point during the presentations of new products you have a prize patrol and um, of, of a, it's usually, it's usually a, well, it's always a stamp set and uh, they show you the stamp set and then you go ooh do I want that and, uh, and then the number flashes up and if it's your number you get that stamp set and um, I think we've got the best giveaway stamp set of the day personally so let's have a look at the stamp sets that we got so uh these are the stamp sets we got i think that was the one um that was in our bag so normally we get a stamp set in our bag um so this one's daisy lane uh, that goes with our current daisy punch and as you can see there's I noticed that I'd run out of video, because uh, I've been on holiday. I did actually take quite a few videos and things whilst I was on holiday. And um, it ran out, so I'm not quite sure. I know I got to this bit, so I'm not quite sure what I was saying. So, Daisy Lane. Um, so, we've got this. Uh, really excited about this. That fits our current Daisy Punch. And look, we've got a smaller one. So, what does that tell you? Yes, we're getting a smaller Daisy Punch. Fantastic. So excited. Lovely, lovely fern. Another Daisy there with a stem. That will be lovely. And some some... Some nice sentiments there, nice big smile, by big friend. Like, the best moments in my life happen with you. That's really lovely. And it's your time to shine, which um, which would be nice for centre team members. Um, it's a cling mount stamp. And I haven't set it up yet because I've not used it. Uh, but I will be. Now I'm back from my holiday. Can't wait to get started with that one. Uh, this was my prize patrol. Um, 
So lots and lots of lovely sentiments on that, which are good for lots of things. Happy couple, new home, welcome baby, congratulations, we've got a birthday. Uh, just a little something for you, very nice, because sometimes you give things for, for no reason. Treats made with love, I mean, I do make lots and lots of treats so that's lovely and that that good for customer thank yous so nice little backgrounds there and a to and a from photopolymer love it can see through it really really excited when i got that one and then this was the stamp set that i got out of the box so we always have a big box in the middle of the table with everything we need all the stamp sets the inks and ribbons embellishments everything um, to do our makes and takes and then at the end of the day we get to pass the box round and one at a time we pick something out and I really wanted this set I had my fingers crossed that I got this set because I'm a little bit of a geek when it comes to stationery always have been always have been and um, so I was really really excited um, to, to get this one I just loved all these images and um, we did use it's a clean mount we did use a couple of them um, on the day um, to do the make and take and the make and take that we did with this was was this one I haven't made it up because I intend to make them up and film them to show you but it gives us a little bit of a taster of the sweet um, that comes with it so the sweet that comes with this we have DSP um, obviously we have the stamp set and we have dies to cut these out we have an embossing folder and there's ribbons and other embellishments as well so this is um, one side of the paper there with lots of these lovely um, elements there love the colors and then then we've just got simple scissors um, on the back and then we've got a strip here um, which that side that's all your paper clips and things I liked that and then there's sort of a nice bright yellow stripy background with a lot of our papers you get Patman on one side and a little bit more sort of um, just sort of plainish stripeyish on the other side so this is the card so I think that's Postal Cabana um, that pink I think is one of the new in colors that's on the other side there's something missing I think I did a stamp in yeah so I didn't know I was going to get the stamp set out of the box so we did the stamping so that's all ready to go on the front of the card so I should be bringing you that project when I get round to doing it now I'm back from my holiday I shall be doing lots of crafting because I have missed it okay um, so um, we always get so we get a, a stamp set in our bag we get a stamp set um, for our prize patrol if you're lucky enough you can get a stamp set out of the box and then we get a, something for all attendees now every time I've been to on stage up until now it's always been another stamp set but this year was a pack of DSP so that was a bit unusual and um, I was really excited so it's called mosaic mood speciality designer series paper so if it says speciality it usually means it's it's foiled um, it might be slightly heavy weighted um, it might have some shimmer on it there's I can't even open it my fingers are so swollen for my holiday because I was walking in walking through Suffolk and Norfolk and always when I walk I do swell up and it takes a bit of time for the swelling to go down so so this is the paper and I don't know if you can see there's sort of bits of shininess on it so all these birds have got that it's raised and it's it's shiny it's like it's got a sort of a laminate sort of thing over it and I can't begin to tell you how good this paper smells so lovely so you get two sheets of each pattern so that's some birds flying around lovely colors this one's a stripey and again the I uh, don't know if you can see how that's shiny on there love these stripes love the colors and then we've got this pattern here with circles on it and all the circles are got that raised shiny bit and then we've got this leafy and you've got the same sort of raised shine on that and then 
we've got these roses so they're really like mosaics and uh, they're just stunning little cute blow of flies and then I appear to only have one sheet of that did I was a bit overzealous there and then we have another sort of plain mosaic there how gorgeous so that's those the lovely um, side with all the shiny bits and then if we turn it over we have the non shiny side which is generally just a mix of this um, green and yellow so that is a bit like the red one but in green we've got some more circles there some more of those birds another sort of roses and butterflies a yellow version similar to that green and another stripey but it's not on the back of the other stripey so you can use the two together and the colors in this if I can actually read is blushing bride crushed curry garden green mint macaron soft suede terracotta tile which is a new color very vanilla and whisper white so they can be used with both whisper white and very vanilla which is just like the smell is just wafting it's gorgeous so i shall get creating with that little lot and bring you something fabulous hopefully from that put that away in my bag so what else did we get so the make and takes let me do the make and takes next um, i've already shown you one so this one um, is um, a make and take from paper pumpkin now anybody from america that's watching this get paper pumpkin but we don't get it in europe and so uh, they decided to do a bit of a trial um, of a paper pumpkin set so there'll be one paper pumpkin set available can't remember when um, and I will put all the details on my blog and um, so you can get to try it and um, depending on how well it does depends on whether or not they'll bring us some more so in this paper pumpkin set you get some note cards with that's already printed on there and an envelope that's printed and it's printed on the inside I never noticed that that's gorge really like that and then I will put this together I haven't done so yet I did the stamping because it comes with a stamp set so most of the paper pumpkin sets as far as I know and I've seen stop watching them in America on the American demos because I can't get them and I just look at them and I get a bit frustrated so um, um, these were the elements that came with it so you would get these in the set so somehow I managed to get two of these not sure how um, so maybe both of them came oh, actually I think one was for the envelope oh, I didn't do the stamping so that's um, that's been foiled I did it thank you I don't actually know it isn't it was hugs for you so that was two separate stamps hugs and then for you um, I decided to change it and um, you, you get you get your dimensionals here we've got this lovely thread and it's slightly elasticated so um, yeah and then these these flowers to stick on so I will put those together um, and you'll be able to see the finish, finished the finished product and um, I might not do it as is I might change it because well it's just how I roll so that's the paper pumpkin one and then this one so this is all ready for me to put together love that blackberry bliss so this is a, another sweet so we do these to highlight the sweets so that's that's what we're trying to make but i have to show you this paper so we've got colored vellum so stamped on that stamp that ready stamp me greeting ready i think i changed it yeah i changed it to a thank you and um, this paper, I've only got one little bit of it. But I am in love. Plain on that side, look at that. So beautiful. But just like Monet, and I love Monet. He's my favourite impressionist artist. And I um, oh, love it. Well, I went to, a couple of years ago, went to Musée Dorsey. 
probably pronounced that completely wrong. Anybody in France watching this, I do apologise. Um, but um, oh, seeing those life-size Monets in that museum, I was just in my element. So I will be buying this paper and I will be just getting myself six 12 by 12 um, frames and I'm just going to frame the piece of paper. I don't think it needs anything else. It's just beautiful. Um, so I will be doing that after I've sniffed it, of course. Um, so I will make that up for you later to show you it. Stick that back in. So that suite is divine. And then this one. This is some DSP. We got a second lot of DSP because um, I think they were cut for American size cards and not our card size. You can see how it's sort of different. In America, they're shorter and slightly wider, and ours are thinner and slightly longer. So, um, but um, look at that. So you can see that one. It's like little bird prints, footprints. Nice. And um, this, so uh, quite pretty. And the stamp set has this row of birds, and we add some blends for colouring in, but I haven't done it yet. And uh, yeah, and some some ribbon. I've got that ribbon somewhere. Um, yeah, I've got it. I'll show you that in a minute. So um, so yeah, that's. Lots of people are very excited about that. Not necessarily my favourite. But, you know, um, everybody likes different things, don't they? And this one, this caused a lot of um, divide. Lots of people loved it. And lots of people were like, mm, don't do nautical, don't do boats. But lots of people do. But I did like the alternative side. So we've got two bits here of the, the DSP. And I loved the stripes, and I actually like that side with sort of maps. Lovely for um, travel um, scrapbooks, which I do a lot of. Loved that. So I probably would get this paper because the amount of mail cards I could do um, with that really liked it. Um, got a note card to put it on, and um, a bit of watercolor paper. So these are some of the images from the stamp set um, to go with it. Um, so let hope be your anchor through the storms of life, which quite apt because at the time of um, going to on stage, I had quite a few friends who'd lost loved ones. Um, I'd lost loved ones, and um, people going through a pretty rough time. So quite an apt little sentiment that. So that was the make and takes. So we get all the things that we need to make them. As I say, the box is passed round and we get to pick things out of the box um, that um, that we want. Um, and look at this. As a stumming up demonstrator, we, uh, we have all our products uh, are delivered by UPS and they come in brown boxes. And... They have stamping up tape all around them. And uh, how gorgeous is that? I can just see me making sort of customer thank you gifts with that. That's just lovely, except actually, <laughs> unless of course they're local, they won't be getting them because that costs too much to post. But anybody local that buys from me, I think I might just put their gifts in that. How cool, love it. Um, I'm gonna just flatten it now for me box. And uh, these were the these were the colour inks that we've got. I've got all the inks, but I haven't got all of them in the new style. So I've decided. So now I can replace these three um, with this, and I've got the old ones then, which I will use for the guides. Because oh my goodness, sometimes when I watch my guides using my stamp pads, I just have to bite my tongue. So it's great. So now I can take these three colours: Flirty Minko, Night of Navy, and Blackberry Bliss to the guides and not worry because these will stay precious and intact and beautiful at home. Um, this little stamp spot, this was the one that was in the paper pumpkin. So in your paper pumpkins, as well as having everything to make, however many cards it was, and I used to look it up because I can't remember, um, you'd get a, an exclusive stamp set and you'd get an ink spot as well. So it's great. And it's going to be about £20, I think. Um, these are the blends. There was loads of blends, so we just split them between us. Um, so I've got a couple more blends to add to my collection. So I was delighted about those. And then these were the embellishments. And what we always do at our tables, we just split them up. Just count how many people sitting around. So all the reams of ribbon, 
that we get in the embellishments and we just divide it up between everybody that's there so rather than some people keep them in the box and you pick out the hole but um, so that was that's the lace that you get and uh, you could color that with blends quite easily so you end up with quite a lot and um, that will be very useful for my demonstrations um, this I think this went with the nautical sex that looks quite nautical doesn't it I do like Baker's twine it's very useful like that sort of night and navy and I want to say crumb cake I'm not really sure but I think that looks like corn cake and then this oh, I liked this a lot this sort of woven linen which again I think you could colour quite nicely the edges look like very vanilla and then I don't know Sahara, Sahara sand Sahara sand uh, it might even be crumb cake in the middle and then we've got some some linen thread there that looks like um, which was very nice and then we've got some embellishments so these are the embellishments that went with the nautical set so anchors and um, wheels what do they call them the ship's wheel this is a ship's wheel isn't it now that oh my i could see some jewelry coming along there so that's very nice and then these i was an idiot because i looked at these and thought that was that was the side up and i thought well that's a bit weird isn't it with these odd little bits of red words on it but no that's a sticky pad you peel that off that's the side so these are for the center of a flower so they're kind of furry so to make them look kind of realistic okay so got that um and that was all the freebies and i'm in the pootless team so sam hammond donald the um our uh, uh poodles to, to everybody else um she gives everybody that comes to on stage uh one of these so i got um i got this from i think she showed this in one of her videos and it was just a little something nice little um lovely treats inside it's always a pleasure to spend time with you it's really nice and it was a pack of embellishments um there everybody got i think everybody got different things um so yeah so that is everything that i got from on stage um and i'm gonna leave that video there and part two i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you all the swaps that i got so thanks for watching all the details on my blog nigeza.co.uk see you again soon